Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Courtney, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my review of the Too Faced Just Peachy palette with you. So I never intended to buy the Too Faced Just Peachy palette, but it was one of those palettes that I had some of my local friends who were like, you know, you got us into matte eyeshadow. We bought this palette. This palette is amazing. You need to buy it. I saw some reviews online for it on YouTube, and I was like, okay, it looks like it's a good palette. I'll give it a shot, and if I hate it, I'm just gonna return it. So I went ahead and bought this palette. Now just to give you a little bit of background, I've been disappointed with most of the, the Too Faced products that have come out in the past, I don't know, year or so. So when I bought the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, it was horrible. I absolutely hated it. It had poor pigmentation. It didn't have a lot of peach colors. Um, the purple in it was a joke. The smell was horrendous. It made me nauseous. It was so sweet and cloying. I just couldn't deal with it. And because of all the hype and how hard it was to get a hold of the palette, it was just like the biggest letdown. So I thought this palette was gonna be the same. And I'm so glad that it's not. Yes, it does have like a fruit scent, but it is not cloying. It is not like, it doesn't bother me the way that the other palette did. Now, what I really love about this palette is that, as I mentioned, it's all mattes. And it has a lot of peach colors, and it has red, it has a true red, and then it has a couple browns. So some of the colors I will probably never use in this palette, but for really, really easy neutral looks or to use use them as like a, or to use these colors with like other like more eye-catching colors, this palette works really well. Uh, I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm wearing the red with some golden like olive color that I created. So I guess let's talk about the packaging. I love the packaging. It's barely bigger than my hand. So it's very compact, very lightweight. I think that makes it great for travel. It's also very like, it feels very sturdy because it feels like it's hard plastic as opposed to being sort of cheaper cardboard. Not that cardboard is necessarily bad, but this feels very sturdy in comparison to some of my other palettes. For those of you who like mirrors, it does have a nice mirror. I personally love that it has the name of each color printed below the colors. That's always a big deal to me. I That's how I prefer it to be. Each eyeshadow in this palette is 0.04 ounces of product and there are 12 colors. Um, I'll put the price up here. It's like 40 something dollars. It wasn't bad. I thought it was very reasonably priced. It's cruelty free and I believe this palette is vegan. I was surprised to see that because usually any color, of the, any usually most reds are not vegan. I'm gonna go ahead and insert swatches of the colors for you. All of the shades in here are matte, except for Peach Sangria, which is more of like a satin matte. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the palette up close. Now, the colors that I've used the most in this palette have been Peach Sangria, which is the red, and Peach Tea, which is sort of like this peachy, like a light peachy brown or caramel brown color that I like as a transition shade. Those are the two colors I use the most. I can, I've pretty much used that color as like a transition and I've used the red just a ton just because I, I love red eyeshadow. So I think that's great. Um, a couple times when I've used this palette, I've had problems where like my eyes would water a little bit and like the color would come away and I'd have to basically put down more eyeshadow primer and pat the color on top to get it to stick because then it just didn't want to stick to that spot at all, which was really weird. I also have had the problems where when I've applied the red, when I go to blend it out, it wants to blend out into nothing or it's turned sort of muddy, so then I have to pack more of the red on top. So while I think it's a good formula, it's not a perfect formula. I would call this sort of like a medium pigmentation formula that, that's buildable. And I think because it's that medium pigmentation and that makes it easier to blend out and blend, blend the colors together. But it also means that because it's sort of like, a, I guess I would call it a thinner formula, that it also seems prone to having issues where it might shear out from too, like if you're trying to blend. So it's not a perfect formula, but it's a good formula. I love the palette. I love the colors because I will wear almost all of the colors in here except for like, I will probably never touch peach tart because it's like that warm chocolatey brown that just goes muddy on me, does not look flattering. I can't make it work no matter what I do. Um, I was kind of disappointed that Just Ripe, which is supposed to be like a plum brown, what didn't have more purple tones to it. I kind of wish there was more of like a true like wine burgundy shade in here instead of that color or instead of the brown either, but I understand that most people like brown. I'm just the weirdo who doesn't. 
Overall, I like that I can make a bunch of cohesive looks with this palette. I've done several tutorials using it. Even even like just like I've done some everyday looks. I use I've also used it with like the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. So I feel like it's a really good companion palette. It's good for people who need office friendly, subtle, neutral looks because it's really easy to put them together. I really like the color layout because everything's basically in like this ombre so you can for me this is like the ideal way a palette should be laid out because then it makes it easy for me to see color combinations and how to put together looks in such a way that makes sense so I really appreciate this layout and like I said the the scent for this one is not bad at all it doesn't make me sick it's not cloying it doesn't last like linger on my face um, it doesn't linger in my brushes when I open it up unless I get really close I don't even really necessarily smell it unlike the sweet peach which just I, I swear the smell could drag me out of a room it was so bad Overall, I have no regrets over buying this palette. If you are in the market for a new neutral palette, I think this would be great. Um, if you like peaches and hints of red, this is a good palette. If you already have a million neutral palettes, you don't need this one. I do feel like there are similar colors in this to the Urban Decay Naked Heat, as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. They're not exact dupes, so you know, depending on your skin tone and the colors you like, you, would, you, you may want to pick one of those palettes over this palette, but I'm really glad I have it. So yeah, anyway, I love this palette. This is the best thing that I've bought from Too Faced in a very long time, and I would like to see them put out more things like this with this sort of like compact packaging with the names on the front and just like this overall better eyeshadow formula. I think that this is great. So anyway, what do you think of the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette? Is it something that you're interested in? Have you tried it? Um, is it a skip? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and found it fun, entertaining, informative, or helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. It makes my day. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that little subscribe button down below so you never miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.